away for a few. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody had a good couple of days. Yeah. 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 Uh, longer practice, say, I mean, what was the focus for you today, and, and how important is it to, to get the guys back up to speed here? Yeah, it's it's not really about even getting back up to speed. We, you know, there's there's a couple areas that we wanted to touch on, so we did that. You know, the second half of practice was a little bit slower. Um, just touched on a few different areas uh, from specialty teams and a couple of other different areas. So the first 30 minutes of practice was all about you know pace and. Uh, you know, and touching on a couple of things uh, that you know that we uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we were sharp on coming out of the break. Uh, starting tomorrow, you won't have two days off in a row for almost a month. Like, how do you manage rest versus reps in that stretch? Yeah, we'll manage that as we go. It's going to be part of the puzzle, right? I think it's uh, it's 14 or 15 games in about 25 days. So it's a you know, there's a lot of travel that's mixed in. Um, so you know, we've you know, we've got a pretty good blueprint. Uh, for our team in those you know situations, but you know this month this this stretch will be a little bit different because of the amount of time on the road. No more rest as a reward, like we see in those post game videos. Yeah, yeah that's. Uh, I mean, the guys have had a little bit of fun with that, but in reality, it's you know we have to we have to find our practice time when we can. Um, you know, we, along that stretch, you know, I've I've got uh, you know. There's, a, there's two or three days uh, that you know look like practice days to me that if we can get two good practices uh, you know during that, that you know that short stretch especially on the road, uh, those will be really valuable. Um, you know beyond that it's going to be you know a mix of being sharp, uh, being rested uh, and, uh, and being ready for games. And when, when things pop up during a stretch like that does it get a lot harder to adjust things just in meetings and video things? Well, you have to be efficient doing it. If you don't have the luxury of practice time, you have to be able to make some adjustments, you know, through uh, through some work on video. Uh, the best way to do it is is through a short practice, no question. Uh, when there's you know when there's an item or an area that you want to address, uh, the best way to do it is through practice. And then you know there's also the other piece, you know, of, of staying sharp and crisp and and you know continuing to to feel good physically, um, you know. That's not all about rest. That's also about being on the ice and feeling good and sharp and crisp on the ice. Um, any chance we see Tolton in the next couple of games? There's a chance. Um, you know, I don't. I don't have anything set in stone, uh, but you know, he's certainly he's he's ready to play. Um, and uh, you know, we'll, we you know, I've talked a little bit about that. It's important for him to get uh, you know get an opportunity to get into the lineup, but. As always, you, you know, we've gone through this entire year, and the last thing I've always said is it has to fit into our team concept, right? And it's got to be the right time for our team. What kind of uh, growth over the last two-ish seasons have you seen out of Will Morton? You know, if, one of the first things that I would say about Will is, you know, I was impressed the way he came out of the stretch early last year. You know, in the first two months of the season, he played very little. Um, you know he, uh, you know he continued to work, um, and you know when he had the opportunity to get into the lineup, uh, from you know really from you know this time last year through till now, uh, he is he's really grown the consistency and and the confidence of his game. Um, you know it hasn't been about adding a whole bunch, you know different pieces to his game. It's about Simplifying, you know who he is, uh, the things that he brings, and then, you know, having the ability to and the consistency to bring them every day, and because those, you know, the the pieces that he brings in terms, of, you know, his skating ability, his physicality, his ability ability to defend against good players and, and be on the ice against other teams, top lines, albeit, you know, maybe not every shift, but to take some of those minutes is really important for our team. Can you elaborate a little bit more on simplify his game. Well, by simplify, I mean, I just mean, you know, what are you concentrating on? You know, defending and getting us out of the zone. Um, and then, you know, for him, you know, using his skating ability to, to bring us a little bit of offense as well. And he's, you know, in my opinion, he's done all of those three things, uh, you know, and continued to become more consistent in, in that role. Looking back on it like a year later, what do you think that time at the start of last season, he was kind of out of the lineup for, for a long stretch. What do you think his focus there kind of did for him looking back on it? Well, 
you know, in all honesty, your best conversation, I know Leachy's not out here all the time, but uh, those two spent an awful lot of time together. So, you know, I credit the player first. You know, he, he, uh, you know, he did a lot of work, um, you know, and his, uh, his communication uh, and his connection uh, with, you know, with Leachy in that situation. Uh, if you would ask Will, uh, my guess is, you know, Will would, would, you know, speak to that as an important piece. Um, those two spent an awful lot of time together. Um, you know, sometimes when a player is out of the lineup and we talk about they're, they are still doing work, they are still growing, they're developing, I get some eye rolls from this group right here, you know, at times. But that's the reality. You know, when you're not in the lineup, um, whether you're a younger player, um, or whatever stage of the career that you're at. If you're out of the lineup, you have to find ways to continue to improve and grow your game. And, you know, Will was able to do that with the work that he was doing with Jay when he was out of the lineup last year. Because he's not here, I'll, I'll ask you, uh, is that uh, kind of something that Leach has taken on, kind of a shepherd of the, of the healthy scratch? No, he no, he runs. I mean, he, he's he's with our D every day. Yeah. You know, the work that he does with our D is uh, is pretty extensive, and it's uh, whether you're in the lineup or out of the lineup, he cares just as much uh, uh, about uh, about each one of the guys. Um, you know, he's got a great personal connection, and he also is an outstanding teacher of the game. Um, you know, that's uh, he's got a real. He's got a real uh, special combination there because he can do it uh, in a direct sense where uh, it's straight up, it's direct, it can be harsh at times, uh, but the guys always, you know, know where he's, you know, the direction that he's coming from and how much he cares about, you know, them and their contributions to our team. Yeah, thank you. you okay, thank you. See you all tomorrow.